Look at that. Isn't there a Pokemon that looks like that? Let, let me see. Let this me see. guy. No Vern. No Vern. Doesn't he look... Well, maybe a little bit. Okay, maybe not that much. Okay, shut up. <laughs> Subscribe, please. All right, 36 minutes for the 5.2 special program. All right, let's have a look. I'm not gonna lie, if they just yap forever and it's kind of boring, I'll just keep it. In ancient times, we were responsible for patrolling and defending all of Natland. It's in the playlist, the new game, MLB Cindy, nope. So Ultra Khan's still managing to sow discord, even after all these years. Okay. If you want to resolve Chaska! Like dialogue, sometimes you need a third party facility. Her huge gun is so funny, dude. At this time I love that she just write it, it's so cool. Is. But I'm probably still gonna have to skip. Auto wrong. And Granny won't let me. Okay, looking good. Oh, hello. Mystery surfaced again. I worry that we risk. Congrats on the co-op, Finn. The Cinder City. Okay. Ooh, new monster. I should be able to help. <gasps> oh, it looks sick. Oh no, it mimics all the bosses. Nightmare! Yep, there it is. I think they didn't get they didn't understand when they said we want a uh, boss rush, a boss rush game mode. They were just like, oh we'll just make a boss that is all of them. <laughs> it's either your end or mine. <laughs> Before the final moment truly arrives, we must fight harder than ever. That was cool. Okay. Um, I just want to re-see real quick. Uh, recheck like here. There's a big explosion. Chess guy's it's jumping down. Okay. Look at that. There's like a big red bird, and that's uh, I think. Yeah, this is uh, this is a. Uh, I think this is a kind of uh, this is the the Nightwind tribe thing. I think. This looks like a, uh, freak. uh, the flying mouse, a bat. <laughs> it looks like a flying bat, like a huge bat. It looks like a Pokemon. Before the final moment. Look at that. Isn't there a Pokemon that looks like that? Le let me see. Let me see. Huge bat Pokemon. This guy. No Vern. No Vern. Doesn't he look... Well, maybe a little bit. Okay, maybe not that much. Okay, shut up. <laughs> Truly arrives. We must fight harder than ever. <laughs> Alright, good stuff. I like the... I like that. A flying mouse. Yeah, bats are like... Flying mouse or flying rats. They look like rats, mice. But they fly. All right, anyway. Hey, travelers. Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 5.2 special program. I'm Gabe from the Loke team. And I'm Kai. We meet again. Cuckoosaurs live among the flower feather Yay! Clans, which is suspended high above the mountains. The Cuckoosaurs! This is a tribe of warriors, and most of their people can command the power of the skies. It was the Flower Feather Clan's ancient duty to patrol and safeguard the entire region wow, of Natal. Wow! Thanks for the rain, Hika! As elite special forces, their job was to detect threats, disseminate intel... Look at this new area! It's huge! ...any dangers to the nation. Oh, look at the background! Yo, I love this place. More flying, uh, more flying runes there, huh? Interesting. Looking good, looking good. I can't wait to go over there. I hope we can go visit. If it's just the background stuff that you can't reach, I'm gonna lose my mind. Mavuki event when 5.3. The tribe never forgot its origin. Uh, since the beginning, they said that uh, the story of Natland will, would end during 5.3, and uh, we always get um, the Archon when the patch that had the end of the story comes out. And before it was always 
but they announced that for this uh, region, it would be 5.3. So we always knew that Mavuika would be 5.3. They still hold trials to assemble the fastest teams in the tribe. The trials test the pilot's skill and teamwork with the Kukusaurs. The Kukusaurs. Oh, I'm so pumped about these Kukusaurs. Yeah, same. They actually look <laughs> yeah, super cute. Look at them. Kukusaurs are the proudest out of all the Sauria. That's so weird because, like, they really don't look like the giant Kukusaur that you have to fight, right? They look way more like flamingos. <laughs> just look like flamingos by comparison the, the boss you fight does not look like those they know that they're the kings of the sky so it's just like mm, in the middle to climb higher or perform a horizontal roll in midair hmm. holding the sprint button allows them to enter an accelerated glide state after a horizontal roll in addition they can even use phlogiston wind tunnels to quickly cover great distances. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm assuming that Kukusaurs are really hard to tame. Yeah, that's true. You need to prove yourself in some worthwhile feat, like demonstrating how to tame your Kukusaur during flight. That's the only way to become a true Kukusaur rider. All right. Oh, wow, that's so strict. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell me about it. But okay. No, don't. Now that we've got a glimpse of the Flower Feather Clan. It's time for a quiz. <laughs> what? Already? <laughs> yep. I hope you're prepared. All right. Every tribe in that land has a unique way of communicating with their Saurian companions. The members of the Flower Feather Clan use I... a special item to summon their Kukusaurs. Uh, a whistle? Filled with their... In order to summon them... A sound making the device. There it is. A whistle. I'm sorry. I'm... Exactly. Oh, there it is. That's a good good. Okay. Only in special cases. Don't worry, traveler. Expert peacemaker can help mediate the conflict. Knitch mentioned that her method of mediation. I'm probably not going to pull for her. I think I'm skipping. I'm fully parts. skipping. Is that the thing is that like she seems to be more well, of a DPS than like really a support. She can probably play as like a sub DPS, Tasca but I don't know, man. To intervene. Everyone knows what she's capable of, so. People usually find a way to set aside their differences when I do kind of like her oh, though. She's so, so pretty. She doesn't just handle conflicts between humans and But I kind of want to say just for Mavuika. Peace between people too. Maybe see Tlali exactly. too. Chaska was corrupted by abyssal power as a child. So she has a strong compulsion to fight, but she knows how to rein it in. Right. I heard that she was abandoned as a baby. Oh my god. I thought we were going to talk about her, but no, they're just talking about the background that we were saw again. Okay, let's see will restore phlogiston to your party while she's in the night soul's blessing state chaska can ride and control her gun like a kukusaur the soul sniper doesn't just increase her movement speed and resistance to interruption it also allows her to get a better angle on her enemies wow man i'm, be I'm so being tempted cool. right now chat it seems so liberating yeah and chaska oh her bow is so cool zone. in the night soul's blessing state Chaska's normal attacks deal animo damage to enemies in front of her, unleashing a charged attack in the state. It's so funny! <laughs> enter a special aiming mode. This allows her to lock on to a set number of enemies within range and fire up to six Shadow Hunt shells. Like, could she be more American? Upon impact. In addition, this is how I see America. Hydro, I'm just like, I'm assuming just people are riding over like giant guns in the streets. <laughs> shadow hunt shells will undergo an elemental conversion to deal the corresponding type of elemental damage. Whoa, no way. So no way. Directly deal other types of elemental damage. Whoa, no way. Insane. And since she's an animal character, she can swirl them at the she same time. She can't know, the gun writing looks so goddamn funny. I know, I know this is right? the best part. Elemental burst has a similar <laughs> function too. Chaska fires a gale-splitting Soul Seeker shell during her burst, which deals animo damage. The attack then splits into six Soul Seeker shells, which continue to attack nearby enemies. These shells can also undergo Man, elemental so cool. conversion. Man, you don't so ride your guns? Cool. Uh, no he can't. In my country, we don't have guns. <laughs> Speaking of her tribe, the warriors. The no, we're just chilling. For sure. The only but thing I write. Uh, light never mind. Who aren't as skilled. Oh, are you talking about the wingless? I was. Uh, never mind. Boss people who fail the flight trials, right? Mm -hmm. They're the mm -hmm. challengers who fail to earn the recognition of a kukosaur. Exactly. But the name doesn't indicate that those people are weak or deserve to be cast aside. The Flower Feather yes. Clan has its own definition of strength. There's a tacit understanding that the wingless are 
abyssal right. contamination during the battle. What's it? I was gonna say the only thing I write is your dad. <laughs> Anyway, okay, moving on. So apparently for 5.2, there's gonna only be one chapter. We're only getting chapter five. We're not getting two chapters here. One version 5.1. Sena from League of Legends. Body that can't I think they don't look the same of at all. Power. Daddy, no! <laughs> Daddy, yes! <laughs> Many members of the Flower Clan are suffering from I guess you won't be the only person this calling this man Daddy. Yanta will be there too. After her own I'm shutting the fuck up now. Yeah, the collective of plenty. Yeah, the, of the people of Netland really value unity, don't they? Mm -hmm. No one fights alone. Right. That's one of my favorite things about Netland. Oh, wait. It's a it looks like the captain baby. will also be there. Yes, yeah, the captain will also offer mm -hmm. help to the tribe. Mm -hmm. You may pick up on some interesting information if you pay close attention to what... I mean, she's riding the gun, Sina holding the big gun. Yeah, it's kind of different, isn't it? It's like, man, she reminds me of that character. They're like basically the same. One has a gun, the other has a gun. Oh, okay. Do they also remind me of every single character in like Call of Duty, maybe? Don't be silly. He has to say, the captain rarely Yansan? gives away too much information. I think Yansan is going to be probably like, secrecy here I don't know. Even we're not getting the region for the Collective of Plenty, are we? Um, so I feel like Yansan's crop is probably going to be end of cycle. So I would just assume that Yansan is going to come out around, I don't know. I would, I would actually bet that she would come out at like 5.6 or 5.7. Not going to lie. Because I feel like 5.3, we're going to get Mavuika and Sitlali. 5.4... Who, wait, 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 wait. When did Arlequino come out? Arle Arlequino release patch. Arlequino was 4.6. So Arlequino 4.6. Maybe, um... Maybe Yansan can come out in like 4.5 or 4.4. That's possible. But yeah, I don't think she... I think she's gonna be lower than the line. Is there any other character waiting for at this point? No, Alekino was 5.5. Alekino was 4.6. So if Capitan is playable, I feel like it's going to release around the same time. Like uh, 5.6 or something like that. I mean, just speculation, right? Seems a little peculiar. So keep an eye out. But of course, restoring that land's fighting spirit remains the top priority. After all, the war isn't over yet. The abyssal contamination is still around. Mm -hmm. and we have a very important battle ahead. Natland needs mental fortitude more than ever before. The Flower Feather Clan is. I got to imagine Capital being playable. I don't see why not. Honestly, uh, I feel like why would there be any limitation? Pretty close to the masters of the night. Yeah, I don't know. Where the Ictomasaurs live. Why not? Live. That tribe could be another good place to recover from the battable. Oh yeah. Can I make incest even play it ball? If you yeah, but he could just remove the stadium of the his mask and go past the and towering walls, mental and then he's playable. arrive at the settlement of the mysterious masters of the night wind. The tribal settlement offers a unique glowing landscape at night. If you venture even further, then you might encounter the tribe's wife, a Tomasaur elder, or one of the. I don't know. I feel like so many people love the fact that you spirits. don't see his face. Like it's I a mystery, and people have been simping El Capitan since the beginning, even though we can't see his face. Plus, he did say that he's been disfigured, really but that's fact, what he said. We don't know if it's the truth. I actually, I actually probably. think that the reason why he might be asked, hiding his face is because he's uh, Shibalanka's brother, and he wants to hide his face because of that. That's just my theory, though. We'll, we'll we'll see. Maybe she might find a way to, you know. He has a deal with the God of Death, right? So maybe he'll figure something out. I don't know. I, I don't think that's enough to 100% say that he won't be playable. I still see, like, if they want to make him playable, I don't see why he couldn't be playable. Hmm. It's kind of tricky, right? Well, don't worry. The Ectomosaurus can help us out. Oh! Ectomosaurus are known for their wisdom. 
they can use their unique sight to detect things that can't be seen through normal mains. Ooh, oh, I like okay. that. Right. Ectomisaurs are especially skilled at detecting ley lines and phlogiston. They can absorb power from phlogiston objects to enhance their abilities. Doing so allows They're them so to cute jump too. Higher, Look at them. Just like, you know, it's so dapper. It's like my dad, my man, I'm just walking around. To create special objects. Oh, I bet that'll come in handy for solving okay. puzzles. Okay. Definitely. Especially in Tribal Chronicles Mictland, which will become available in version <laughs> 5.2. The first two acts feature a lot of intriguing puzzles, so be sure to check them out, travelers. Some of them will require the help of an ectomisaur, and others can be solved on your own. I noticed okay. that ectomisaurs can perform fast-paced jumps when they have enough phlogiston, and it looks like so much fun. Bless, thank you. Do you know anyone who can use that ability? I'm just Besides sick forever. Saurian, I mean. Yes, Auroran can do it too. Nice. Like the ectomisaurs, Auroran has the ability to rise into the air. Honestly, I might pull for Cheska just because of the fact she can fly. He also has a keen sense of perception. But that sounds like a While bad idea. While charging an aimed shot, Auroran will enter the spirit speaker state, allowing him to extract power from Natlan's graffiti and runes. Nice. Speaking of Auroran, that's all the graffitis. Super surprised by that's anal sex. Before the 5.1 <laughs> Archon quest, I thought that he looked like a stern, <laughs> stoic, and harsh type of character. But as it turns out, he's just a sweet kid. True. Yeah. He likes slugs it's and kind shit. Of unexpected, right? Yeah. Is he really that sweet though? Just to think about all the sneaking around behind his granny's back. Ah, uh, <laughs> true. Huh? The tribe's what? people of the Masters of the Nightwind are known for being eccentric, but Auroran really takes it to the next level. Yeah, it sounds like he does things his own way. I wonder if that extends to his combat abilities. It does. Auroran is a bit different from the Natland characters we've met so far. He doesn't need to depend on the Night Soul's Blessing state to gain Night Soul points, and he can maintain the Night Soul's Blessing state even while he's off. The ah, look at the flying squirrel! Uh, that so sound cute. Different from the other Natland characters. Where that come from? Is so this a how joke? Do his abilities work? Let me start by explaining. Have how you never Auroran heard that meme? It's like this points. is not Monopoly. This, this is an ill sex. Ways. For example, Auroran can gain Night Soul Is that like or just a porn joke? I'm pretty sure. Anyway, moving on. He can also gain them when other party members deal Hydro or Electro attacks to enemies after Auroran unleashes his mm, elemental money? skill. Oh, then it sounds like he works well with Hydro and Electro characters. <laughs> yep. Hmm. And in combat, when enemies take damage from Electro... Wait, we say that again? ...members deal Hydro or Electro ways. For example, Auroran can gain Night Soul points when one of his party members triggers a Night Soul burst. He can also gain them when other party members deal Hydro or Electro attacks. To Considering that they just announced that um, Electro Charge is getting buffed, uh, it makes sense that Auroran specifically seems to work with Hydro and Electro specifically. Enemies after Auroran unleashes his elemental skill. Oh, then it sounds like he works well with Hydro and Well, if Kate skills. was there, she would tell you that <laughs> yep. it's a meme, okay? And in combat, when enemies take damage from electrocharged reactions or other party members deal Night Soul aligned damage, Auroran can consume Night Soul points to enter the Night Soul's blessing state and trigger the hypersense effect, dealing electro damage. Oh, I see. So you need to pair him with the right characters if you want him to gain Night Soul points, enter the Night Soul's Blessing state, and trigger the effect. Not a exactly. all. Though I should mention that Auroran doesn't need to be on the field to trigger the hypersense effect. <gasps> Wait, <laughs> he can trigger it even while he's off field? That sounds really useful. Totally. His elemental burst provides a convenient way to deal damage and support your party. It taunts too, I'm pretty sure. That'd be goofy. with his burst to summon a supersonic Oculus. Which oh, that's so cool. He can fly super high and then like shoot from up course, there. The Oculus releases a sound wave to deal damage. That should be great for crowd control. Yes. With a wow. in the party, dealing with large groups of enemies should be a lot easier. And speaking That's cool, of making things easier, Auroran can also improve the exploration experience by boosting the gliding speed of your characters. Awesome! Auroran really cherishes his friends. With a little teamwork on his side, I'm sure victory will always be within reach. Okay. Cool. 
So we introduced two of the upcoming regions in this update. Yes, sir. The Flower Feather Clan and the Masters of the Nightwind. Mm -hmm. But there's more. <gasps> Version 5. Oh, wait, there's more. introduces another new region. What? It's called Ochkanatlan. Oh, I think we caught a glimpse of this ancient city when we, we were did. looking at the Flower Feather Clan. It's really beautiful from mm. far away, but those clouds look kind of ominous. It looks completely Just bad abandoned. weather. Is it dangerous? <laughs> yes. This is a restricted area in that land due to its severe abyssal contamination, and it seems uninhabited. Over the years, many adventurers have come here in search of treasure or to slay the dragon. Unfortunately, none of them have ever returned. The Flower Feather Clan often sends oh. riders to patrol the area and to prevent people from getting too close. Wait, did you say slay the dragon? Yeah, I know we introduced some adorable Saurians earlier, but this creature is actually. Did you really say later Saurians? It occupies this ancient city and guards it fiercely. Maybe he just wants to play the egg. Then Tamago. it will attack without hesitation. Tamago. Okay, that's pretty concerning. It's easy to take human Saurian coexistence for granted these days, but it actually took generations of effort to reach this point. This relationship wasn't nearly so harmonious in the ancient past. Travelers uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Land to uncover the reason behind this dragon's rampage. Okay. Of course. That sounds cool. Travelers that's like three region alone. in one patch. Yeah, that's actually bananas. Oh. <gasps> What is that? Very important companion who will help us explore Ochi It looks Nata. like a weird fish. His name is Kokui. As for his power, well, why don't you take a guess? Okay. Um, uh, is he our? He has the power to support? look derpy. You know, maybe he could make a cute noise every now and then to cheer us up. <laughs> hey, let's not put our Tapetlasaur friend out of a job. Little one works really hard. Okay. Then nothing. <laughs> Remember how I mentioned that Ochi is heavily corroded by the abyss? <laughs> Well, that's where we can no use shield. his power to clear abyssal contamination. Oh, the cool! Direction indicated by his light to collect secret source scraps and enhance his power. Oh, look, Once he has a little has wing! enough power, you can take him to track down the evil dragon. What a useful little guy. I know, right? Yeah. Now, but it, he's not just a sure little guy. He also can help you out in combat, you will. <laughs> I've heard there's even a special token around here that can enable Little One to traverse a volcano. Hmm. A new adventure with Little One awaits in version 5.2. No this way! Can we name him too? Because I got Chibi, I gotta give him another name. One's past. Familiar Saurian companions I'll call him Nerd. Also help us explore Ochkanatland. For example, with the help of a Koholosaur, we can Yay. engage source mechanism attacks. With the help of an Ikitomisaur, we can solve certain puzzles. With the help of a Kukusaur, we might even be able to chase down the evil dragon. But we'll Man, the evil dragon is trying to have a good time. We're just uh, ruining his life with all of the fucking fish? dino dinosaur Does this friends. Mean we can fish in that land? Yes, but I've got some friendly advice, travelers. You should be very careful while exploring Ochkanatlan. Some of the abyssal monsters here can distort their appearance to mimic powerful enemies. No way! High-level monsters such as the Tenebrous Papilla can mimic even stronger enemies. Wow! It looks like these monsters take the form of plants outside of combat. Yep, that's true. The abyss has corroded Natlan's ley lines, allowing these monsters to read the memories inside of them and mimic creatures from Tevat. How do we defeat them? <laughs> you tell us why. Tell us how. Tell us how. Void wards. Doing so allows them to take damage and causes them to enter a brief state of confusion. Okay. Night soul aligned elemental attacks are especially effective against these wards. Wow, the abyss has gotten so advanced. It's scary to think about how much harder these fights will get if these abyssal monsters continue to evolve. Yeah. Mm, yeah, okay. true. That was a lot of information to take in at once. But before we take our first break, we still have a couple of short announcements. Really short, I promise. First up, limited time exploration rewards will be available in version 5.2. Just like in version 5.1, travelers can earn up to 400 extra Primo gems. And the rewards will be available all the way through version 5.3. It's now time to introduce the event wishes. In the first half of version 5.2, travelers can look forward to event wishes from Chaska and Lenny. Aurora uh, will also receive a drop rate. Chaska and Lenny rerun and Aurora is gonna be on that banner. Maybe I pull a little bit, try to get Aurora and Chaska. 
I don't know. I really want to save for Maverick and potentially a weapon too. The thing is that I don't know how Maverick's weapon is going to look like. We haven't seen it in game. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to get Jaska on a rerun or something. I'm not sure. And in the second half of version 5.2, uh, these are fully skip. I don't care about the daddies. For and we we the have real dragon and fake dragon star daddies. Astro Vultures Crimson Plumage and two new Netland specific four star weapons. Be sure to check them out if you're interested. All right, it's time for our first break. Once we come back, we'll dive right into the event portion. All right, event portion. Let's see it. What do we have? Travelers, welcome back. Let's dive. Oh, look at that weapon! It looks so cool. A calamity of Eshu. Oh, I love the shape. <gasps> wow! So did all. to the event section. So in the first event, what do you we'll do? What do you do? More about the masters of the night wind. That's yeah. right. In the version 5.2, Sitlali is my grandma. Spirit seeking scrolls. Travelers will team up with Sitlali and Auroran to get to the bottom of a mysterious accident Sitlali. that occurred within their tribe. Travelers will need to complete no, I'm good, Draken, thank you. to defeat enemies who try to disrupt the ritual. They'll also need to reconstruct scenes from the tribe's woven scrolls and right. along the way, including Primo, Primo Jams and Wapon. It's Granny to the rescue. Yeah, <laughs> Granny. <laughs> Definitely. Man, I love Free Red. I mean, Sid Lali. <laughs> so sorry, man. Jeez. <laughs> I'm always grabbing the popcorn whenever these. You keep seeing her in Genshin meme. Yeah, she's basically free rent, but in Genshin. They're practically a two She's old, show. drunk, and Speaking silly. Fun, let's get into <laughs> the event gameplay. First up is the Search for Lost Spirits mini game. All right, we got some mini games. We got to bring back to the base. It's the same co-op gameplay we see. This is the classic stuff. What is that? Travelers will need to adventure. Oh, is that more of the? Yeah, it's more mini games from the Adventure Squad. Potato, potato. This is all just mini game stuff. It's mini game event. This is the the auto battler right. event. Keep the excitement rolling. Oh, it's automated. We oh wow, we get some animation for the card effect in uh in in the the TCG. If anybody plays that, that's pretty cool. are now shorter in length. Wow. Wow. Is that the Rosaria card? <gasps> We're getting a Rosaria card, Pog! Maybe I'll play the TCG just for Rosaria because she's queen. Convoy, travelers will need to help Lamia track down some adopted animals. Travelers will be able to see the animal's point of view by using a special tool. Once you've managed to deduce their location, oh. you'll be able to track them down. Once the animals are safe and sound, travelers will receive a gift from the mysterious figure who adopted them. I feel like Auroran would really shine in this event. He's definitely an animal lover. <laughs> I can see that. I'm sure that he would jump at the chance to meet animals from other nations. Yeah. From other nations, you will. The Leyline <laughs> Overflow event will return in version 5.2. If you I'm need sorry. aura or character EXP materials, then keep an eye out. All right, let's dive into some updates and game optimizations. First up is the change to the Imaginarium. Wow. Theater. Previously, travelers would be returned to the theater lobby after completing a challenge and have oh, to that was so annoying. Fantasia Tome to continue. Yeah, I, 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 I know it's not a lot, but it was still so freaking annoying. So, this will no longer be the case in version 5.2. Thank God. Now, after finishing a battle, all you need to do is click next act. If will you do. Keep fighting. <laughs> nice. Travelers can now enjoy the thrill of combat without any interruptions. And for all the generous travelers who like to configure supports for their friends, a supporting caster record has been added in the new update. You can now check which friends have borrowed your supports right, by cool looking stuff. at the supporting cast the screen. Cool. It'll be nice to know that our supports are helping people out. Yup. Oh, and the party configuration mechanic has also been optimized. Besides the elemental filtering, the Imaginarium Theater will now feature recommended row icons, elemental statistics, and markers for the main types of enemies. Well, sure, that that's nice, so quality helpful. of life. I'll occasionally put together a random team if I've just started experimenting with some characters, but this information should make it a lot easier to form strategic teams. These markers will display key information on how to counter enemies, but in a much more prominent position. Hopefully, this change will make it easier for travelers to form the best teams. Yes. Now we can directly see which elements work best against specific enemies. That's definitely going to save some time. For sure. 
and we can expect even more optimizations in the future as travelers continue to provide valuable feedback about their experiences. Okay, let's introduce the other system optimizations coming in version 5.2. You can outsort 5-star artifacts in your inventory based on when you obtain them, from the most recent to the oldest. Second, the animations for crafting materials, forging weapons, building furniture, and cooking dishes are now shorter in length. Okay, that's really yeah, nice. that's cool. The dev team designed a lot of intricate animations for these features, but it can feel a bit frustrating when you have yeah. to watch them over and over again. Just getting more optimization and, and quality of life is always good. This is the update for the, the search of like... Uh, this is the one that allows you to just grab the trees around you, essentially. Which is nice, seconds. just for farming purposes. Way, so excited for you. Oh, and optimizations have been made to artifact locking. The updated lock assist... Yeah, lock. this is... I, I did an entire video about that. You can check it out on my channel. I went over the entire dev blog. Uh, essentially, this allows you to create some specific uh, rule sets to auto-lock your artifacts. So if you want to set some rules and then do it automatically so you don't have to check everything as soon as you get it, that's pretty useful. Uh, what else are we getting here? They're not talking about the rest. Oh, yeah, they're talking about the rest. Uh, there's going to be a quick swap feature for all the treasure compasses in the Colossus Resident Stone. When you change region, it will automatically change them, which is good. And also, um, the treasure compass will show uh, time challenges as well as sealies on the map, which is uh, cool. Uh, what else are we getting here? X and okay, Genshin on Xbox. That and that's it. And all right, overall, uh, some cool stuff. I think the trailer was pretty good. We saw that we're getting three new region, uh, two new pets, which is pretty cool. And uh, I'm excited, because, especially because it means that because we're getting two new tribes or clans, that means we're getting a lot more story. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that, especially when um, we do the older tribe reputation system that's been pretty cool lately. So I'm looking forward to that. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you're looking forward to Chaska and Odonon. Are you going to be pulling for them? Personally, I still haven't fully decided. Um, I mean, they look... I don't know, man. Like, Chaska looks cool, but it kind of depends on how much resources I have. I I'll have to see and truly decide if I want to spend those resources or if I want to save as much as I can for when Mavuika is released. So that's my thoughts. Let me know. And I'll see you next time. Cheers!